Good morning, people. This is Sam South Carolina Happy Bees. This is uh, uh, 619. These queens here, they're supposed to be hatching on 622. So we're going to hopefully be able to cut some queen cells out of here today. And we'll make some more um, nukes. sure y'all can see it there I am. There we go. okay we're gonna start again here now everything looks good <coughs> I'm not a professional video taker people here. It's just me and our country. Put their feet around down here. This is their water dish and it's, it's still got water in it, but they're drinking it. This is their feeder dish with their sugar water that they don't have any. No bugs. Nope, no bugs. No queen. Okay, they've got a little piece of pollen here still. This one is just a frame. Still got some peppermint on it. Paper on top. Like I say, it's child-proof wrappers on this candy. And with my thumbs, it don't work too good. But there they are. They're doing just fine. This one right here is the one supposed to have queen cells on it. And we'll be cutting some off and putting them in other hives. This one here just has some uh, honey and some nectar on it. Same thing on that side. Yes, my leg still hurts. Okay, these are doing some fast tuning, so we just wait just a second. Fast tuning, we tip it on the side like this so they don't fall off and get their little feet hooked on there and their fingers and everything back to where it's supposed to be. This one has some nectar, some honey, a little pollen, so they have plenty of food. Same thing on that side, same thing on both sides. And what we might be doing is we'll take a queen cell and we'll take one of these or two of these uh, frames here with, with honey and stores on it and we'll put it in another box. This one here has nectar. This one here has some nectar. This one has nectar, same thing on both sides. We don't expect to see any brood or egg, well we might see some brood, cap brood. We don't need to see no. Don't need to see no. Oh yeah, it's country. I'm down south. Okay, this is the one that's supposed to have the queen cells on it. According to this, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen queen cells in. And there's one right here that was capped, and it's covered. So we that might be one we take out. If it's not, it's not supposed to hatch until the 22nd. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have some worker brood capped. See these little girls over here on the end? Oops. Right here. If I go and flip it, 
they could fall off or turn it over. So we flip it like that and let them all grab a hold of each other again. And now they won't fall off. Okay. Well, they might because they didn't grab each other. Well, we have queen cells. Queen cells, let the little bees hold on and we'll come back. Okay. Now, let's look at this capped one over here first. This is it. Then we got two more down here. We got one here. Okay. Let me take a look here and see what we got first. We got cap queen cell there. We got two cap queen cells there. We have one there. This one has been cut. Something was wrong with the queen, so the bees took care of it. This one here is capped. This one's capped. I just want to make sure nothing's open yet. We don't have one little queen running around here. And they're thinning, but they're not thinning. The bees haven't cut them down that much. We could move them. Pretty queen cells, though. Okay. I'll let y'all see them now. We just had to make sure there wasn't no wild queen running around. Okay, this is one queen cell right here that's capped. Right here. They're doing good. This one right here is capped. And it's doing good. This one here. There's two of them here. One of them. I don't think it's going to work. But that's okay because we can cut them apart anyway. This one here on your left is um, capped and it's doing good. This one here, they look like they're thinning down for some reason or fixing to get rid of it. This one over here looking good. Um, this one here, they're cutting down. Could have been a bad queen. If they find that there's something wrong with the queen that's inside it, she's not growing properly, they uh, eliminate it. Mm -hmm. There'll be two more over here. They're putting off some heat. Oh, today's a good day, y'all. It's a nice day. Okay, we have one queen cell right here that's capped. Right here. And I don't think it's going to be any good. But they're still around it. Now, if a queen, a bees are hanging around a queen cell, it's probably good. If they're working on it, it's probably good. If you see a queen cell and there's no bees on it, you get rid of it. This, there's one right here. Should be two right here. Okay, we got one here. We have one here, one here. Bees are hanging around them, so they're both good. That's supposed to be the only two on that side. But anyway, if a queen hatches out from with with one with this many queen cells on it, the um and one hatches. 
they're going to go get something to eat and then they're going to start killing the queens that are about to hatch in most cases this this is just depends on if they read the book or not they'll kill the queens that's in the cells that are about to hatch and if they hatch they'll have to fight it out find out who's the biggest and baddest one and then they could be some um, swarms that comes from that I'm not figured out how that works yet Oh, we'll say we got a little bee here that's acting. Well, she's not. She's just acting funny. Um, next swarm. Like I said, they're young. They're too young to fly, so I don't know how they go about swarming. And then the other uh, queens in there. Let me put it back in. The other queens that are in there that hasn't hatched. The bees will go around and kill them. And, um, yeah, I'm doing a lot of anums here. And anyway. There's a lot that goes on with that. That's, that's the thing is I don't know exactly where to go. The, um, but anyway, you wind up with one queen, maybe. She could get hurt during a fight. Um, and she may not even come back. You got all these queens that's done dead. So these queens all cut out. And I'll make queens. Because this is a good, this, this, this queen here had good genetics. Because that was number four. It was the old 441. And it was here. We moved it over there. And this one is now the 445. And let's see what we got going on here. This one shouldn't have any queen cells on it. But it has stores. So see, we could take this frame out, take queen cell out of there, put it in a two or three frame box. And let them finish that queen up. This one over here just has stores on it. We're going to slide these over. We're going to slide this one over, but not so tight. And close to the other ones, because we don't want to hurt the queens. So we're going to put it right there, and it's about a quarter inch gap between the little wings. We're going to go check the other ones. And we'll be back to this one and we'll make another video on what we're doing when we start dividing them up. Okay, so we're going to give them their water back. We're not going to give them any food. Not even gonna put that back in to give them food when we come back. We're gonna give them some pollen patty. That's all they need right now. But I didn't see a whole lot in there and they they need to start storing up for the babies. We'll be back this one in a little while. And we'll do something else. But this is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. Bricks, broken brick means there's queen cell. More than one broken brick means there's more than one queen cell. Uh, but anyway, this is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. Y'all give us a comment what y'all think we should do about now. Um, but we'll we'll put both of these queen uh, both of these videos close together. They won't be combined, but they'll be close together. Uh, comment, thumbs up, share, like. Be happy. Beautiful day out here. We don't have any clouds. Well, we got a little cloud, not much. Most of it's sunny, but the temperature's in the 
uh, 80 low humidity uh, and we got a breeze y'all be careful out here bye